I still remember the first day that the first copy of Kuch Kuch Hotai came out. And someone at the laboratory remarked that if he didn't know better, he would think the film was directed by Yash Chopra himself. He probably didn't know it then, but he paid me my biggest compliment. I've grown up watching his films. I've always emulated his cinema and will continue to do so. He is probably the most romantic director that Indian cinema has ever seen. But there's much more to him than just that. He's broken ground on several occasions with a songless ittifaq, a socially relevant dharamputra, the mother of the lost and found formula in Vakt, even a contemporary thriller in Dar. He is probably the most romantic director, but as I said, there is much, much, much more. He also shares the same name as my father. He's family to me, and he's sitting right next to me right now. He is Yash Chopra, and we're discussing my most favorite topic, Kabi Kabi. Hi, Yash Uncle, and how are you? Hi, how are you? Very well. Okay, I'm discussing my favorite topic, that is Kabi Kabi, and it's my most favorite film, and it's a multi-generational film. And what I would really like to know first is that it comes right between Divar and Trishul. It comes somewhere between in the 70s. Now, what interests me as a director is that how right before Divar and right, uh, sorry, between Divar and Trishul, how did you make a film like this suddenly as a director? I had produced a film before earlier than my first film as a producer, Dag. And by the grace of God, there's a success. And after every successful film, the director wants to try something new. I think Kabi Kabi, in a way, was an art film, an experiment in romance. But it was the biggest star cast possible at that time. So people thought I'm making a very commercial film, but I'm always trying to make a commercial film. I'll mm -hmm. keep on making commercial films as long as I live. But that subject I tried, that uh, a romance, because pictures made 24 years back, I think sensibilities have changed now. Because that time, a romance which today everybody can say you can love and let's elope, yeah. but that time is not there. Okay. I think the film which you have seen was not planned like this. Oh, then how was it planned? It was in the beginning. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan is standing at the, behind a tree and Rakhi is getting married. Mm -hmm. The opening of the film. Yeah. yeah. And he's imagining all his love affair, all his love scenes. And I conceived that seven love scenes in seven pairs, yeah, yeah. intercutting, I think mm -hmm. it was beautiful. But it was not like this in the film eventually. Yeah, why I tell you, it was a very, very beautiful story about it. Okay. I was doing the background music of the film. My finance team, Mr. Gulshan Rai, who was a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. In Raj Kamal, that side, background music going on, he saw the film in a trial. He didn't pay any comment this way or that way. He just said, yes, after the music, why don't you come home and have dinner? Okay. He didn't say anything. I went for dinner myself, my wife, Pam. Because Pam name was in the story because she helped me a lot in the story. story. When I reached there, he thought, yes, this picture won't work. He said that? Yes. I know you've got a beautiful music, but everything else is working against the film. Didn't work the film. Amitabh has a mustache. <laughs> After Diwar, oh. he's no action there. He's a the father of a, two daughters, you can say. And he's playing the father of Neetu and the young new girl. How can it work? I give you advice. You forget about the film. We can afford it. I was very upset. I'm sure. I again came back in the morning. Mr. Mangesh Thai was a very, very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He was the real artist and he was doing background music. He had seen the film. I discussed with him. He said, Yash, you don't listen to anybody. This film is going to work great. Only one thing I tell you, you've done very artistically beginning mm -hmm. this scene and that scene. For Indian audience, you don't do so artistically. Just hold the little finger of the audience and go back. You start the narration straight as the film starts. So I say, there was month of December, I remember. I said, how to go about it? You have to do some reshooting, maybe one or two days. Mm -hmm. But this film, whatever anybody says, can't go wrong. There's only confusion in the beginning from the audience point of view, not from artistic point of view. But I think that's why uh, you have been always ahead of your times, because what you, as you said, that you were intercutting the peras, the seven peras, yeah. 
with seven passionate shots of uh, Amit, Amit ji and Rakhi. Rakhi. And that is a contemporary intercutting pattern which we follow today. But at that time, it was probably considered mm -hmm. too um, alternate or Maybe parallel, so to say, for I the I feel audience. that sensibility of today has changed. Yeah, much audience more modern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe Kabhi Kabhi may not work today, but it worked 25 years back. No, I think it would work even 25 years and later. I left, I asked Amiji, we left after one week. We even carried our light men, cameras, cameras, lights, everything by air to Srinagar. Mm -hmm. And we shot only for two and a half days. And he came back and it, small little changes in editing here and there. As far as Kevin's release, Mr. Gulshan and I couldn't face it. He knew that this won't work. He mm -hmm. left the city, he went to Mahapleshwar. In depression. <laughs> depression, <laughs> but picture departed in a big way. But it is reported that uh, when Kabi Kabi opened initially, there were lots of mixed reports and it didn't open to the kind of houses that were expected. Is that true? I think it, it opened full houses. But the metro is released in metro. The manager says there's no pluck in the film. I didn't understand about the pluck. In Delhi, it was fantastic in North all over here. But in Bombay, every house was full. But you to go slowly full. I think it just took too much for them, you know, it, for, took a, it would have taken yeah. a long time for them to digest this I think kind after of a week or two, film. he rang me up, Mr. Chopra, now you come, it's got the plug. Now the audience, all houses they full well in advance. It. At that time, it had broken the record, but then for 37 weeks in Metro. Up to oh, that God. time, it was record of Kabi Kabi. But a lot of people do comment because this film is like just going to a garden and enjoying, whenever you go, come back, when you come back. But they said that with even Suraj's Ham Aapke Kaun, they said it's just like going to a wedding. So I suppose, uh, but, People, but if you haven't connected with the audience, the film would never have worked. And you did I, in Kabi I Kabi. feel that I, I was making very intimate romantic film of Amit, Shashi or Jintu, these three characters of the film are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was sure because some even some critics even at that time wrote, the director of this film should go to Himalayas and put the <laughs> separate clothes and forget about filmmaking. <laughs> Really? Really. Uh, really? My he's God. in print. And I just he said to myself, okay, let's see. But after the really, fate of the film was released, that every fair super hit film, music is, till today, is evergreen music. Of course, that, you know, it's poetic and musical. And the Look, I had conceived never really the fits. film, I read a poem of Sahir Sahib Kabhi Kabhi. Mm. I gave the name to Kabhi Kabhi for that. Myself and Sahib, we both planned the film in a, in only musical way, how to go about it, because he was a very, very dear friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And in such a big film, I taken that time, Mr. Khayam, when big music director was there. But we both felt that this picture being the story of a poet, it will work with the director, music director who knows music, who knows poetry, who knows meter. That's why I took Khayam Sahib. I remember that I day I announced Khayam Sahib, there was a party at Amitabh Bachchan's house, and Mr. Shammi Kapoor came to me and congratulate me, you've done a fantastic thing. Such a big cause, you've done such a talented director. Mm -hmm. Only you could do it.